hello viewers in today's class we are going to discuss about antenna parameters in previous class some parameters we have finished uh, today's class we will discuss on beam area beam efficiency beam width radiation intensity as well as effective length so first we will go into the beam area see here uh, we will first see what is the definition for beam area it is a solid angle through which all the power radiated by the antenna would stream if p of theta comma phi is maintained maxima over ohm a and zero elsewhere so what is the meaning of this definition we'll discuss so here what we are saying beam area is the area in which all the power radiated is maximum and it should be maintained constant and in the rest of the areas it it will be showing as zero see this diagram carefully I, uh, I think you can understand what is this diagram called as radiation pattern so this already we know in previous uh, parameter radiation pattern means which shows the maxima and minima radiations of an antenna like this so this is the main beam and the rest of things are mi minor beams so in this main beam what we are saying here in this which all the power radiated by the antenna would stream uh, that is in p of theta comma phi is maintained maximum that means here this majorly we need to consider for our calculation of beam area in this diagram if you observe straight away is it possible to take this diagram for calculation of beam area it is very difficult why because every derivation we need to do mathematically so what we have done here is we have made an equivalent solid angle like this you can see this forms nearly the shape of a cone if this is a circle and let's say this is some area and we have placed some antenna at the center and it is radiating power in different directions so when it is radiating power the power flows in different directions like this right so straight away taking this I cannot do any calculation that's why I am just making equivalent solid angle to that picture and this we are referring as a beam solid angle or solid beam angle it is represented with ohm a right so the radiated beam of antenna comes out from an angle at a antenna that means where at from which area the radiation is coming out that particular angle is called as a solid angle and where the power radiation intensity is maxima that clearly you can see from the diagram also here see if you compare in this diagram what is happening here you have the maxima radiation in all other directions we have minima and clearly in this area we have nil that is null radiation so while calculation of beam area majorly i'll consider this part completely and uh, this part is also include where we have uh, some small amount of radiation completely all this part is uh, called as total beam area right and now if you go for the calculation of this beam area what we have done we have considered the entire spherical area say this is your sphere we need to calculate the entire area from start from 0 to 2 pi as well as 0 to pi pn of theta comma phi d ohm watts watts is nothing but the unit of your beam area and this pn of theta comma phi is normalized power and by getting this normalized power automatically we can calculate the beam area right so if you know the beam area it will be very useful for uh, the, uh, like analyzing the performance of an antenna right so we will move to the next parameter beam efficiency this is like continuation for beam area concept see first the definition beam efficiency is defined as ratio of main beam area to total beam area so it is simply uh, efficiency means everyone of us know it is like a ratio, uh, ratio factor here also the same thing will happen beam efficiency is nothing but ratio of main beam area to total beam area here main beam area I have represented with capital M why because already I just uh, said now we have two types of beams main beam and uh, small beam or uh, major beam and minor beam if this is our radiation pattern this we consider it as main beam area and the rest of all these things come under the minor beam area see here uh, this minor beam 
will be smaller and total area means it is entire summation of main plus minor that completely is considered as total beam area if you consider the ratio of these two things if this main beam area is high automatically efficiency will be high that means here clearly what we can understand when you consider a radiation pattern your maxima radiation or main beam should be as high as possible and minima radiation should be as low as possible right so that include increases the efficiency next the ratio of minor lobe to total beam area is called as a strafe factor this in another way we can define as a loss factor why because see this formula epsilon m is equal ohm small m by ohm a and see denominator did not change for efficiency as well as strafe factor but numerator has been changed here we have taken the main beam area but here we have taken the minor beam area here what it is indicating if the minor uh, beams are increasing automatically the stray factor is increasing whenever stray factor increases automatically the efficiency decreases that's why we should keep in mind that this ohm m should be as high as possible and ohm small m should be low and this is the standard expression where you have summation of major plus minor will be equal to 1 so this is all about your beam efficiency if uh, we uh, we uh, know the beam areas automatically we can calculate the beam efficiency also the next parameter we are having is beam width this is very important parameter for antenna why because uh, based on the requirement of practical applications this uh, beam width is to be calculated uh, say for example for some uh, applications like mobile applications uh, and some satellite applica communication applications what they do is they specify some required beam widths so according to that we will be selecting the particular antennas so in that aspect beam width is very very important and first we will enter into the definition beam width is the aperture angle from where most of the power is radiated so what it is showing it is an aperture aperture means opening just it's an opening angle from where most of the power is radiated say for example if you consider a circle like this and out of this entire circle where you get uh, in all the directions it is not possible to get the 